Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Friday night. I got a couple things I'm doing um, back at my house for the DSM. Um, got some stuff back for powder coating tonight. Uh, my buddy hooked me up. It turned out great, honestly. I'm super impressed by it. Super quick. And then, you know, I'm just kind of you know, painting some random stuff in the bay. Um, but tonight, <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is focusing on finish rebuilding my 1G throttle body. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and kind of show you what I'm working with. I hope you can see well here. I might get adjusted a little bit. Alright. Alright, so <clears throat> this is the uh, 1G throttle body. As you can see, it just painted black, so you know, don't be alarmed. I had the uh, ports on the top uh, weld cut and weld shut. Um, along with having uh, like a bracket right here cut off and stuff like that so um, from there I had it cleaned <clears throat> and um, I coated it I painted it and then I installed the uh, FIAV block off plate I got this from STM uh, it does not come with these uh, does it come with black bolts? no it doesn't come with black bolts it comes with silver bolts but I swapped them out for black cap screws <clears throat> and then you also have to use the OEM gasket and then I also siliconed it a little bit because uh, this can be a big big um, culprit when it comes to boost leaks um, but the main thing that I want to talk about today is the um, throttle body shaft seals alright so what they are are the seals that sit in here here and here um, for the throttle body that the <clears throat> the plate and the butterfly turn in okay um, so this is basically um, what seals off that gap between the shaft and the seal alright um, so this is what an OEM one looks like uh, probably hard to tell if you can see it's made of rubber it's kinda of brittle um, and it was uh, a pretty easy to pull out when I took mine apart <clears throat> but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be replacing this little bad boy with a mil spec seal. So this is a mil spec seal next to a normal throttle, uh, throttle body shaft seal. Excuse me. All right. So as you can see, the mil spec seal <clears throat> has a metal ring case around it. Okay. Where this one is just like a hardened plastic. Um, this mil spec seal are known to be good for 35 plus PSI um, they're a much much tighter fit and uh, that's why some people upgrade them uh, to these you can go with a stock um, rubber sh uh, shaft seal and uh, you could still run 30 PSI with no problem um, but I opted for the uh, mil spec since I already had it all apart and I had to wait on some stuff so I thought I'd order it anyways um, one thing that's troublesome about doing these seals is that when you go to do it and you get it in here, you know, sometimes you use like a socket or, you know, maybe like a handle or something like that to push them in. Well, someone came up with a really cool tool to help support the seal as you're installing it so the seal can't, you know, go in crooked or bend or, or, or you know, get caught. Um, this basically, I'll put the normal one on here, basically supports it all the way through the shaft and then you just tap on the head and tap it all the way down you know it's like CNC milled all that good stuff so I'll show you it was in if the, sh if the seal was on there you would just tap the top and just tap it in um, I already have one in on this side so you can see the mil spec seal is in you know it's a very very tight fit but it went in. Um, it went in okay. Um, I put it in at normal room temperature, but with this one, I have been freezing it for about three hours now. So I'm gonna see how that does. Uh, you know, it's kind of warmed up since I did this video. So, all right, I'm gonna stop the video for a second. I'm gonna get one other tool. I'm back. Um, so what I did was I got my hammer. I went ahead and um, hit the hole with uh, some liquid grease like white lining grease and then I also hit the seal that I'm soaking it with because again it's a the mil specs are much tighter um, seal uh, than the factory rubber okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slip it on 
the tool. All right, so it's on the tool. Again, it's got grease on it. Let me give it a little more. Okay, a little. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so the tool's in. It's supporting it on both sides. All right, it's down. I know you can't really see, but I mean, at this point, um, I'm going to tap it. Uh, one thing is, you know, have some goggles if you or glasses or whatever. If you um, if you uh, spray it with grease because the grease will pop out. So, all right, I'm going to start hitting it. Got to just support this a little bit more on this side. It's harder on this side. All right. So sorry if it gets loud. Tap it in a little bit, check it. Okay, it's started. All right, check it a little more. What I like to do is at this point, since it's like halfway in, I like to hit it with a little bit more grease. I don't know if it, you can see it or not, but basically it's um it's halfway down into where it's supposed to sit and so what I did is I hit it with a little bit more grease and now I'm gonna tap it again All right, we're gonna check it All right, it's going down so here you need to start to give it a little bit more With this tool, what makes it great is you don't have to worry about you putting too much pressure on one side or the other of the seal, you know, and it's starting to get cockeyed um, in the hole. It, it supports it from the inside and the outside. And then, are we in? Yeah, so we're all the way down. I'm just going to give it one more good tap. All right. So out comes the seal, I mean the tool. All right, I'm going to clean it. And, you know, as you can see, it has like a little lip to it too, right here that um, pushes down on the seal. Right, I'm going to clean the inside. All right. That is how you I'm going to come over here to the light. That is how you install a mil spec seal onto one G throttle body. Um, this would have been way harder and taking a lot more time if I did not have um, this really fancy tool. Um, it cost me like 12 or 15 bucks um, on DSM tuners and you know I'm, I'm probably not going to use it again for a long time but I just finished this in like less than five minutes you know if I didn't stop to make this video it would have been a five minute install. Um, and it would have taken much longer if I had to use like a socket or you know some other tool to try and get it in there um, but it's recessed in and it's good so that's that and uh, now I'm gonna stop the video and um, start to assemble the uh, butterfly in the shaft and everything so thanks for tuning in guys